So first of all, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has supported Sprinkle of Courage because it has now reached on Facebook over a hundred likes and to me that is absolutely amazing considering I didn't even think it'd get 10. So thank you very much to everybody who liked it and has continued to support it along the way so thank you so much. Sometimes you'll hear a quote from a film, a lyric from music, you know see something written down that just speaks to you and explains perfectly what you're feeling and how your you know how your how your life is right now. So on that note I was watching Twilight the other day and a quote that they said really sort of stuck with me and it was sometimes you'll experience pain and loss and you'll be stumbling through life like you're stumbling through the dark. But at some point in your life and that could be when you find someone else or when you find peace from all the grief you're going through then you'll begin to feel at home and that you'll finally fit in and to me and to me that explains perfectly what I'm trying to do I am right now stumbling through my life to find a place where I can peacefully fit in without all the grief and hurt that I'm feeling for people who have watched Twilight will probably know that quote when it was said it just really sort of explained perfectly what I'm trying to do you know especially when you have the mental illness you are stumbling through it because you haven't you have no idea what happened to you it's completely new and it's like all of a sudden everything that you thought was so clear and you could see perfectly what you wanted in life what you were doing you know what, how you feel all of a sudden it's like someone switched off the lights and put a bunch of walls and obstacles in your view and you're told that you have to find your way through it and to me that explains perfectly what I'm trying to do you know I have no clue where I'm going I have no clue what I'm going to feel in like in an hour never mind what I feel like next week or what I want to do so that quote really sort of spoke to me and explained to me helped me sort of explain what I was feeling right now and what I'm trying to do. So I hope, you know, maybe that'll help some of you and maybe that quote will fit perfectly with you. Another one is, sometimes I wish I had an easy answer for why I'm depressed. And I agree straight away when I saw that. I would love an easy answer on how, why I have it so I can solve it and get on with it. But then as I've come to realise is, there is no one thing that made you get depression or there's no one thing that made you get anxiety it's a bunch of things over time that have just piled up and eventually exploded and you know i can't blame one single incident for why i got into depression the reason why there is no easy answer for why you have a mental illness or what a quick fix is because it doesn't exist there's not one thing that gave you a mental illness and there's no one way to fix it. The only sure way that it will help is time and I know it's a horrible, horrible answer to get and a horrible answer to give saying, oh yeah, you just ca carry on and it'll get better in time. Another one is, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning to dance in the rain. That quote is amazing because it is true, you know, you cannot wait for your mental illness to pass because it can take it can take years and you can have a good day and then followed by terrible days or you can have a few days. You know, it's not gonna pass for a long time. You just have to learn to deal with it and learn how to live a life with it with it present. And to me, that quote means a lot to me because that sort of helped me accept it, you know. When I saw that quote, to me, it was like, you know, I, I can't wait for my mental illness to pass. I just have to learn to live in it. Another one is every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. And I try to do that every day. I try my hardest, you know, especially when I have bad days, it's hard to do that. But I try to pick at least one good thing 
that happened in that day. And then when I say that, my day doesn't look like a complete boss. And this is my all time favourite quote, and it's from Dumbledore. <laughs> it's happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if only you remember to turn the light on. And I think that's amazing because it is, you know, everything can be so black and white, and especially in a if you're having a really bad day everything can be so terrible and be awful but you know if you just remember to turn the light on everything isn't black and white there is plenty of color there is plenty of good in every day you just have to be open to see it and this is the one that i have come to sort of live by and it's we all have two lives the second one starts when we realize we only have one i thought i was living life you know but it's until I was that close to having no life at all I realized I was barely living you know in that second when I if I wanted to end it all or if I survived I would have serious mental repercussions because of all the tablets I've taken but um, you realize that I wasn't living at all so when I started getting back on my feet I realized you know I started listening in therapy better I started the Sprinkle of Courage group, I got back in touch with my friends, I was, you know, wanted to be a part of my family's life again and I think that it's really important, you know, you do only have two lives essentially and when you realise, when you realise you only have one life, the second one starts because you start doing things that you never thought you'd do. I have never thought I would start this group and yeah, here I am. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.